the severity of Glaber Torres's injury? I uh, don't know yet. Um, he, he's icing now. Um, he just he seems to think it's just a little tight, but we'll probably get this imaged and and see where we're at from there. Just considering on some of the injuries that you've suffered so far, some of them being hamstring injuries as well, just how frustrating is it to have another guy out with a potential injury? Um, yeah, I mean, the, again, I, the, these when anyone goes down with something, um, you know, I, I feel for the individual. And, uh, you know, we'll find a way to, to make do, and it, it allows for another opportunity for someone else to step up in their absence, and, and that's what we need to do right now. But right now I just hoping, hoping the best that it, it's not something serious, which I don't believe was, it is with Glaber. Was it just running down the line there, or had that yeah, been bothering him at I think, all I think I think a quick movement out of there that just kind of tightened up on him a little bit. James Paxton really was rolling early on, retired 13 of 14 batters, and then ran into trouble. What do you think caused him to to really lose his command there in that fifth inning? Yeah, I don't, you know, he just, you know, I mean, he was really filling up the strike zone early um, and not overpowering today, but his mix was really strong. Um, and then obviously a couple walks that really came back to bite him there in that fifth inning and, you know, had the pitch count drive up uh, in a big way there. Do you look at this as an encouraging outing for Paxton or something that he just needs to well, to, well to be able to go deeper in games? We'll see. I mean, the unfortunate thing is he, he's left for an MRI too. He felt a little discomfort in his forearm elbow. Um, the, the last couple pitches of that uh, fifth inning. Um, so we've sent him um, to see what's going on there. Aaron, do you ever ask yourself, I know you went through it last year, but how many blows can this team take? No, no. Uh, again, just f for PAX right now, hoping for the best, um, that, that we get good news there and, and you know, hopefully to continue to work to get them right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ken David off. you have the next question. Hey, Aaron. Uh, first time out of first place this year for you guys. Uh, first sweep at home since you've uh, been the manager. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and two more guys going into MRI, too. Just, just would, are there any concerns about just the general state, state and, and uh, mood of the team right now? Well, I mean, you've, you've been around me long enough to know now that, look, adversity's coming our way whether we like it or not. And that's part of this game. And that's part of being a major league athlete and player. Um, and I don't care how great a season we have and we, we expect to have a great season and hopefully finish with a championship. Um, but adversity we know is inevitable. It's gonna come in different ways, unexpected ways. And certainly in 2020, um, it's always, it, it's been a lot of unexpected ways. Um, I do feel like we're uniquely equipped to handle it and deal with it. And that'll, that'll be the expectation uh, as we grind through a little, you know, tough, tough spell here uh, with some injuries and a tough series. Dave Lennon, Thanks. you have the next question. Yep. Hey, Aaron, I, I think looking at the numbers, I think you guys went one for 21 with runners in scoring position during the series. And, you know, for a lineup of you know really good hitters, that, that number has to really jump out of you. And, and especially with Luke Voigt, who, who's done so well in, in the past 10 games or so. Yeah. How surprising is that to go through that kind of that kind of spell for those situations? <laughs> you know, those those spells, I know that's always a storyline. And, and, you know, with every team, with every season, you're not hitting in scoring position yard. There is going to be some ebb and flow with that. You know, obviously, sometimes that is the difference in winning some close ball games or, or dropping some close ball games. And, uh, you know, it was an area where, you know, we, we struggled a little bit, obviously, in this series in that regard. Um, but I expect it's something that, you know, overall will we'll be strong in, need to be strong in. And, um, you know, we get to start. Uh, tomorrow night over at City Field. 